For many years, the Tulsa Glass Blowing School occupied this 1,800 square foot spot in downtown. Today, there's a lot more room at their new location in McClure Park, right off of Route 66. The move came after an agreement with the city of Tulsa. They allowed us to come in and clean it up and make it our own, and it became a, it's become a really wonderful place for, for the studio. The Recreation Center sat vacant for several years. Now, the nonprofit group uses every area of the 12,000 square foot facility. And we had the capability of doing a kiln fire glass, having its own classroom. We have the capability of doing lamp working or torch work, where people are working with the torch and glass. The old basketball gym is now a hot shop with space for all the furnaces. And boy, are they hot. So the glass itself is 2100 degrees, that's what it, it's holding temperature. The furnaces get up to about 2300 degrees. Everyone is welcome to the school. Five and up can participate in the kiln fired class. You gotta be at least seven for the hot glass experience. It's 10 for lamp working. Prices start at 25 bucks and go up. Professional instructors are there to help. The instructors are right there with them, uh, with their hands on and making sure everybody stays safe. Jay Garnett guided me through my hot glass class. He always starts with a safety talk. You should have your body all the way to the right and then your torso behind this end so that the hot end of the rod can't turn into you. That. That's, That's not even the hard part. Downward. How do you pick what to make? Really? There's more than a dozen choices. So you're picking from a menu of projects and you get to decide which one you're going to do. You get to choose two colors. And today we're making a paperweight. One of the first things you do in the haunt shop is choose from a variety of colors and there's several to choose from. Today, we're going with the theme to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Just gonna roll right on through that blue. Glass blowing is a little different than painting or pottery, which is more of an individualized art. This is much more teamwork driven. Oh, there it goes. They're starting to round out. It's you and a team of people making that happen and it's that that teamwork and that camaraderie that goes along with that that creates this bond that you just don't get in any other art form. See what we're doing? We're just smoothing out that glass, getting it all really round and symmetrical. TGS started several years ago with youth outreach programs, then added programs for veterans and recently it started working with women in recovery. We've had a lot of participants that have told us how during that moment in time, that's all they're thinking about. There's such a relief in that feeling. Participants keep coming back to focus on their beautiful creations. And it's giving them a sense of hope that they didn't have before. Classes are by appointment, Monday through Saturday. But you can also grab it and then stick it back on itself. It's like taffy. Keep in mind, it takes about 24 hours for your work of art to cool down. You can pick it up after that. Just give it a little whack. There you go, just like that. Pops right off. I'm quite proud of how mine turned out. Thunder up. At the Tulsa Glass Blowing School, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma.